With the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Roosevelt finally realized he had to do something. His response was the Trading with the Enemy Act, which allowed him to seize assets like the Union Bank, through which Bush, Walker and Harriman had been financing Thiessen. Roosevelt didn't realize, however, that it was already a case of too little, too late. Because without his knowledge, American business moguls had been tumbling over one another for two years in their efforts to assist and do business with the Hitler regime. Typical of this American spirit of enterprise was Sosthenes Ben, the president of AT&T, who flew immediately to Berlin when war was declared to put in Hitler's phone lines. He gave the Nazis the most high-tech, state-of-the-art telecommunication system in the world at that time so that Hitler could rule the European mainland with the maximum efficiency. Rich men have been hiring thugs to do their dirty work, especially to frighten people, since human civilization began. What people have to try to appreciate is that Nazism, in reality, was simply the first time in human history that the rich had enough wealth to hire an entire country of thugs to do their dirty work. Some of the most emotive images in world history are those of the Nazi war machine swooping across the Low Countries to begin their occupation of France. And people have always assumed that the trucks used for the miles-long troop convoys must have been German trucks. But if anyone at that time had taken the trouble to lift up the cowling and look at the engine, they would have found these were actually Ford trucks, which had been built with personal permission from Henry Ford, who was sitting in his office 4,000 miles away in Dearborn, Michigan, a service for which he was given the Grand Cross of the Eagle, the highest honor the Nazis ever bestowed on a civilian. Ford sued the U.S. Army, uh, the U.S. Uh, government in, uh, in the 50s because during the war the U.S. Uh, Air Force bombed their tank making fac facilities in Germany. And they, this is true. And what was it, like 52 or something, they sued the U.S. government for, for destroying their factories. And they won. They won the lawsuit. So I had to write a little song for Henry here. Nazis use those tanks too. 